Hello again, this is Scott with InMotion Hosting. In this video, we're going to go over adding products to your PrestaShop store. The first thing you're going to want to do is to log into the admin area. And you can see I've already done that here. And then we're going to go find the products section, which is under the catalog tab. Click on the products option there on the top. All right, this brings us to our product list. We have the seven default products uh, that are already installed during the installation of Presses Shop. If you want to remove these guys, just kind of slide over to the right, and there's a trash can icon, the delete icon for each row. So you can select um, each one to delete. Uh, here we're going to add new ones. So we're going to go up to this little add new button. And give that a click. All right, now products have a lot of information. Uh, we're not going to go over all the information today, but it's going to go over the basic stuff here. Uh, we have the information tab, which we're going to fill out pretty much uh, completely. And then you have several other tabs over here on the left-hand side, which we're going to touch on a few of those for different uh, features such as prices and, and quantity and, and damage. Uh, first thing we're going to do, though, is uh, select a type of product. The product itself is selected already, which is uh, a physical product, such as a book or a CD. Next, we have the pack. If you have a combo pack, say a CD book combination pack that you're going to discount or something like that, you would select pack. And if you have a virtual product, such as software or virtual books or MP3s, something like that, that would be a virtual product. Okay, now name is the only field here that is um, required. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and name our, our products. And we're going to go with the Samsung Galaxy S4 today. All right. Next is a reference tag. This is going to be used for SEO uh, slash URL purposes. Um, so it's going to be kind of descriptive, but not super long. Now you'll notice the demo products had demo underscore one, two, three, four, something like that. Uh, getting away from that because we're actually using real products here. All right. Next, you have the EAN 13 or JAN. This is kind of like the European Japanese version of the UPC code. And then under that is the US and Canadian version of the UPC code if you want to use that. Uh, next we have the status over here. Enabled is uh, clicked by default which means it'll show up on the store. The visibility is everywhere and the options here they will be available for order immediately. Uh, it will show the price automatically that's part of the available for order to check there. And then if we have a virtual store only uh, just leave the online only blank. If you had a physical store and a virtual store and then had online only products or, or deals, prices, you would use that here. All right, and we are going to use the condition of new, so we're going to use new phones here. All right, next two things we have are descriptions. We have the short description and main description. Uh, so let's go with the short description. We're just going to give something uh, brief. It's kind of a summary of the, of the larger description there. Let's see. Um, let's see, we can get a little bit more detail here. All right, there we go. And then in the, the long description underneath, uh, you get a little more details going on. And uh, you can break them into paragraphs. Um, you can even do images and things like that here. So we're going to give it a nice lorem ipsum paragraph, kind of a filler text as a, as a dis, uh, design here. All right, and then last, you have the tags. This is going to be used for uh, search features, uh, both within the um, Press Shop itself here and the uh, search engine. So we're going to put in some basic tags that have to do with this particular phone. And they're separated by commas. Uh, video, Wi-Fi, any of the other features that you want to be able to search by. Uh, just put in there. Make sure you use a comma to separate them. All right. Now, before we can move on to the other tabs, such as prices uh, and everything else, we're going to have to save this particular information tab. So go up here and hit the Save button. All right. And as you can see on the products list, it does appear down at the bottom here. Samsung Galaxy S4 has a reference tag, and then notice there's no base price yet, no quantity, no image. That's all coming up here in just a minute. So click on the edit icon to go back in. All right, now we can use these other tabs over here. Uh, first thing we're going to select is the price. Okay, so we're going to go over here and say $450 is the pre-tax wholesale price, and we're going to sell it for say $500. All right, you select your tax rate right here. We'll go with no tax here. All right. Now, some of these tabs will let you click on other tabs and save automatically. Some force you to actually save the product up top and then go back to the product list and select. Uh, we're going to try to go into associations here. 
Now associations are the categories it's going to be associated with. Um, we're going to leave home, uh, Samsung. Let's let's take out a home. Uh, so the Samsung category will be where this particular product is located. Okay, if you need to create a new category, just click that there. It'll take you to the same process we had in our create category video. All right, and then we're going to go down to quantities. All right, we're going to add. Say we have you know 20, 20 phones in stock here today. Okay, it says data saved, which is great. And then we have images. Lastly, we're going to add an image for the, the phone. So we're going to click on the upload image. It takes us to our computer. I've already got an image ready for it. All right, now if you can have more than one image there, if you want to have different colors or something displayed, and you'll see the cover option here. If you have more than one image, whichever one you select as the cover is going to be the main image for that. Okay, so go up here and hit the Save button. All right, that saved all the tags that we were messing with earlier. So we have the picture here, the description, the name, the reference category. You can see the quantity for 20 and the actual phone price here is 500. All right, so we've added this product completely to the uh, store. So let's go to the store itself. And we're going to click on the Samsung category, which is where the phone is listed. And you can see it right there. Samsung category. Give that a click. It brings up the page specific to that particular phone. Up top here, we have the short description. We have 20 of them there. And then we have the long description down here at the bottom. All right, so that's adding a product to your Precious Shop store through the admin backend. I'm Scott Mitchell with InMotion Hosting, and thanks for watching.